Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In today's video, I'm going to explain how we can create object groups in Oracle Axiom. Object groups are set of sets of elements or person. Use object groups to define subset of object for processing or reporting. The object group are user-defined set of elements that restrict the item that are included in various process and reports. It is a mechanism by which you can set up definitions to retrieve an appropriate set of entities or elements, which would be used for payroll calculation or other processes. So use these object groups task to define uh, these object group types like um, element group, payroll relationship group, work relationship group, and process information group. So let's understand the these groups. Elements group. Use element group to limit the elements processed for payroll, reporting, cost distribution, and for global transfer purpose. Uh, this table explain the uses for an element group. The run group specify the element to be processed in a payroll run and the distribution group dis define the element on which the cost result are distributed. And last is a configuration group, restrict the element that can be updated on the element entries page. When we create element group, we use these group under the element group. Next is a payroll relationship group. Use payroll relationship group to limit the person processed for payroll, data entry, and reporting. Define a payroll relationship group in a two-step process. First is a specify payroll relationship, and second is a group. Uh, second is a define the group to be either a static or a dynamic. To define a static group, select the payroll relationship and assign to include in or exclude from the group. And to define a dynamic group, use a fast formula of type payroll relationship group. And the fast formula contains the criteria to establish the payroll relationship and assign assignment include in the group. Next is a work relationship group. You can use work relationship group to limit the person processed for human resources and reporting. You can define the group to be either static or a dynamic. In a static group, select the work relationship and assign assignment to include in or exclude from the group. And in a dynamic group, use a fast formula of type work relationship group. This formula contains the criteria to establish the work relationship and assignment included in the group. Individually, select additional work relationship and assignment to include in or exclude from the group. Last is a process information group. You use a bank processing group to load the bank correction file returned by your bank. Each payroll period, you transfer payroll payment directly into the bank account designated by the employer. If any of the bank account records are invalid, your bank return a file containing these details. For example, an employee can have an incorrect account number which result in the payment being rejected by the bank. So let's move on to the application where we are going to create one of the object group. On the home page, go to the, go to the top right of the page and click on the profile name and then go to the setup and maintenance option. After that, click on the task area and search for the object group task. And here you can search for the object group task. And there is another way. Go to the task area and click on the manage implementation project. 
here search for the project and here search for the object definition object group for existing one select the type of uh, the object group and then click on the search option then click on the create option for creating new one here the by default type is a payroll relationship group and for creating element group click on the element group option and fill the name and then click on continue option here you can see the usage type click on it and here search for the group then select here the distribution group uh, this element group will include all element in the standard earning classification so let's submit the object group so this is how you can create your object group in oracle hcm i hope it is clear to you thank you so much for watching